The effort to root out gang violence in Mexico took another turn on Tuesday with the confrontation, this time between soldiers and civilians. Witnesses say those civilians were not armed. At least two are believed to have died. Groups of heavily armed vigilantes are trying to force out a powerful cartel in the region, troubled region of Michoacan state. But at the same time, the government is intervening, asking the vigilantes to lay down their arms. With Inside CCTV's Frank Contreras joins us live now from Mexico City. Frank. Yes, thanks, Elaine. Yes, the government has sent large numbers of soldiers and federal police who are all heavily armed to take on two different groups, essentially, Elaine. One, of course, being the Knights Templar. This is a drug trafficking organization that broke away from another powerful organization, one called La Familia, there in western Michoacan. This other trafficking organization lately has been the source of a great amount of violence in that part of Mexico, including kidnappings, murders, and even illegal cutting down of trees, illegal lumbering taking place in that part of this country here. Um, the Mexican government, for that reason, decided to send in the troops to try to put them down. But in recent months, the organizations that have been taking them on most directly in gunfights have been civilian organizations who call themselves auto defense groups or self-defense organizations. A second day of gun battles in Mexico's western Michoacan state. Federal security forces clashed with vigilante groups. The so-called vigilantes say they are local self-defense organizations. For nearly a year, they've been engaged in gun battles with a drug trafficking organization called the Templar Knights, which broke away from La Familia drug trafficking organization. The leaders of these civilian militias say the federal government has not been willing to protect them, so they took up arms to protect themselves. Part of the reason that we're doing this is so we can be free. We can be a free people without being dominated by anyone. Most of the bloodshed has been taking place in a town called Nueva Italia, New Italy. Up until this week, it was a stronghold of the Templar Knights. On Sunday, the federal government sent heavily armed soldiers and police to the region. Today, they are engaging in gunfights with the civilian militia groups. Mexico's interior minister says it's part of a broader government strategy to enhance security in Michoacan. A los grupos de autodefensa. To self-defense groups, go back to where you came from. Go back to citizen activities. The institutions are charged with the security of communities. Federal forces on Tuesday decommissioned firearms from the civilian organizations. But those groups worry that they are now unarmed and defenseless against possible counterattacks by the Templar Knights. Frank, today some of the civilian militias signed an agreement with the Mexican government regarding security in the state. What more can you tell us about those accords? Yes, Elaine, the federal government sat down with some of the leaders of these armed group, armed militia groups in that part of Mexico. Remember, these small sorts of armed civilian groups exist in various parts of the country, not just in Michoacan, but also in Guerrero State. Today, however, the accords were aimed at trying to quell the violence and get these civilians to set down their arms, hand them over so that a lower number of violence could be taking place in that part of the country. And so the federal government offered them paid positions, in fact, on Mexico's police agencies, suggesting that they could actually be paid to continue their battles against the drug trafficking organizations. Now, as you heard, there were allegations that federal agents here, either soldiers or police, at this stage it remains unclear, Federal agents opened fire, allegedly, on a group of civilians in that part of Mexico. We're still unable to confirm that, Elaine. In any case, Mexico's National Human Rights Commission says it will be investigating that matter. All right. CCTV's Frank Contreras live in Mexico City.